is the 23rd of the 4th, 2012. This is today's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and get started on SOT.net. <clears throat> East Coast snow cuts power to 50,000. More to come. A uh, powerful spring storm dumped snow across parts of the northeast overnight, including 10 inches in one town, and cut power to more than 50,000 customers in Pennsylvania and upstate New York, with more, more snow expecting today. Uncharacteristic powerful cold storm targets northeastern United States. A storm delivering needed rain to the Atlantic seaboard will have many faces ranging from urban flooding to strong winds, unusual cold, and heavy snow and powder out power outages into the day. A strengthening storm is rolling up the Atlantic coast with drenching rain. Power showers. A month worth of rain to fall in 72 hours in the United Kingdom. Forecaster said power showers hammered many parts of the many parts over the weekend with lightning and mid-air tornadoes, narrow funnel clouds stretching below thunderstorms, reported in uh, Lincolnshire and East Angala. The Met Office forecast heavy rain for today and torrential downpours and gales on Wednesday and Thursday. Got a fear piece there. Uh, here we go. Fukushima nuclear disaster is far from over. Spent reactor fuel containing roughly 85 times more long lived radioactivity than released at Chernobyl still sits in pools vulnerable to earthquakes and open to the environment. And uh, sun, sun may soon have four poles, say researchers. Now this is an oncurring normal event that happens every time the, the, the sun flips its poles every 11 years. Uh, that's just part of the process It goes through this. Um, Dr. Strong, Dr. K. Strong, uh, did a really good video on it, explaining everything. Fire at California's San Onfray nuclear plant burns for over 40 minutes, causes unknown. This was back on the 21st. Uh, they're saying it was electrical fire on the non-nuclear side, the actual where they produce the electricity with the non-radioactive steam. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, big rains going on in Tehran. Um, Iran, severe flood caused damage in northern Iran. Severe floods across northern Iran caused enormous damage to infrastructure in a number of towns and villages on Thursday and Friday. After pouring spring rains drenched northern and northwest provinces of the country for about one week. And over to the extinction protocol. Loud boom over northern California and Nevada thought to be from Meteor. People in northern California and Nevada reported hearing a loud boom in the sky over the Sierra Sunday morning. Uh, the county sheriff's department said that they're investigating the possibility that it might have been a physical impact of an overnight meteor shower. Uh, she aliens covered this really well uh, yesterday. Um, actually, I, I heard one of the one of her, like police scanner videos uh, where they had, the dispatch was actually saying there was smoke in the hills and uh, fire crews were dispatched, but I uh, never heard anything past that. So uh, definitely something happened in the sky for sure. Uh, way too many people witnessed it for it not to. And that's about all they've got new going on tonight. Let's just go ahead and go right to the nuclear stuff. e, &E News. Prime Minister Ken. Radiati radiation disaster would hit the world if Fukushima Daiichi was evacuated. No longer a question of only Japan. Worry over current state of the plant continues, of course. TV nuclear scientists concerned about structural safety of Fukushima fuel pools. 85 times more long-lived radioactivity than Chernobyl, of course. And you got to remember, Japan had this secret nuclear bomb factory going on. Uh, we don't know if Fukushima was one of these places, but there is an unforeseen amount of nuclear material right there. News interview, Fukushima poses lethal risk to the United States' west coast, says Senator. Another bomb waiting to go off. Extreme nuclear vulnerability, especially in reactor number four. 
Kyoto gets suspicious. Mitsui claimed radioactive agent is harmless to people. Radiation mentioned four times explosions began while shutting down plant. And that was that big chemical plant explosion uh, that happened in Japan. Uh, they say no dangerous chemicals re were released. Um, but if you saw the video, um, an immense, huge explosion with massive damage. Uh, large amounts of radioactive materials could be disposed, deposited across thousands of miles if water lost at Fukushima fuel pool. Media just beginning to grasp that danger to world is far from over, uh, saying a nuclear expert. So if those fuel pools spill and uh, that catches fire and all that water rushes into the Pacific Ocean and all the ash and... The insanity continues, it continues. Uh, the radioactive material stored 500 meter, meters from where the incident began at the chemical plant. Uh, they're saying the, the containers are intact. Um, 500 meters is 1,500 feet, and that was a huge explosion. And uh, we can't always believe what the Japanese officials are telling us now, can we? AP, uh, or AF P officials waiting for combustible materials to burn out after Japan explosions, fire not extinguished, may take days to determine the cause. And again, no harmful chemicals were released into the atmosphere. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, Japan Times on plant mutations. Trees died and others grew in abnormal shapes, says ecologist visiting Japan from Chernobyl. And that's about all I'm going to cover on there tonight. Over to uh, Fukushima Diaries. I'm going to go to their daily reports. They've got a couple stories I want to cover on there. Of course, they have a lot of things going on. TEPCO increased water injection amount to reactor number two. TEPCO increased the amount of water to inject to reactor number 2 from 5 to 11 on 420. Uh, the increased amount of water leaks out of the container vessel directly. TEPCO did not explain what caused this increase. And of course they got the mutated plants going on in Japan. The dandelions they're finding. Oh here we go. MAFF prohibits private sector from applying strict safety limits. Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry, and Fisheries of Japan requested food makers and supermarkets to stop their unique radiation measurement for food. Japanese government applied new safety limit from April, which is 100 becquerels per kilogram for ordinary food. But supermarket change Arion applies their original limit which is 50 becquerels per kilogram. MAFF states excessive safety limits damages producers and it's all about the money. So this company who was trying to take that extra step to protect their consumers uh, has been shut down. They're no longer allowed to test their products. <laughs> insane, insane. Uh, there's a story on EXSKF I wanted to cover tonight a couple of them. Ashes from sewer sludge with 16,670 becquerels per kilogram cesium dumped in the final disposal site in uh, Kyu City, K-I-R-Y-U. In, that's in the Gunma Prefecture. And they had a couple city councilmen um, go out there and inspect this and take pictures, which is posted here. Uh, here's a... Um, the site is maintained by the city's water department. First, this is how the ashes from the burning sewer sludge from May and June last year is stored safely. And they're showing a big pile of ashes with tarps over it and stuff. Um, the ashes from May were found 16,670 becquerels per kilogram of radioactive cesium. And the ashes from June were at 9,623, says the assemblyman. If you think they are not supposed to dump the ashes with more than 8,000 becquerels in the final disposal site, you are right. But they do it anyway here, and probably in other cities too. 
So uh, definitely they are burning this radioactive debris in open incinerators and burying the ashes not a hundred meters away from a high school. They got pictures of it. They're just on the other side of the cherry trees where they don't have this stuff covered. They're just dumping it on the ground, this ash. And finally, the Japan Atomic Industrial Forum, um, they've got a report out. Four units deemed decommissioned at Fukushima Daiichi, pushing Japan's domestic reactor count down to 50. On April 16th, the Tokyo Electric Power Company announced that it would classify units 1 through 4 at its Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station as permanently decommissioned. As of April 19th, given the extent of damage to those reactors, TEPCO had already decided that on that action last year. As a result, there are now 13 reactors on TEPCO's roster of facilities, with 50 in the entire country of Japan. <laughs> These reactors melted to down, and now they're deemed decommissioned. Enjoy away, can everybody. Thanks for your comments and your videos.